Okay, so let's be honest. Nobody really likes dealing with taxes. Yeah. Especially when you start thinking about, like, the IRS and everything. It's kind of a universal dread. Yeah, it's a real headache. But our listener is curious about this company, uh, Tax Closure. Mm -hmm. They're saying they can actually make this whole process, you know, way less painful, especially for folks like you. Right. Deep in the gig economy. Yeah. So we're going to do a deep dive into their material, see if they live up to the hype. What do we know so far? Well, the first thing is, this problem is huge, way bigger than most people think. Okay. We're talking like millions of people falling behind on their taxes every year, like tens of millions. Right. And it adds up to a ridiculous amount of unpaid taxes, like over a hundred billion dollars owed to the feds. A hundred billion with a B. Yeah. It's crazy, right? That's a lot of money. Yeah. And, you know, I can see why 1099 workers would be especially at risk here. Oh, absolutely. The whole gig economy thing is exploding, but it's not like you're getting, you know, taxes withheld from every paycheck or anything like that. Exactly. It's all on you. And a lot of these folks are juggling like multiple income streams, different gigs all the time. It's easy to see how things could slip through the cracks. Definitely. So what happens when those tax bills finally catch up to you? What are your options if you're in that situation? Not great, to be honest. Okay. Trying to deal with the IRS directly can be a nightmare. They're not exactly known for being super understanding. Right. And then there are these, like, traditional tax relief services, but those can cost you an arm and a leg. Yeah, I've heard some horror stories. Plus, there's no guarantee they'll actually get you the results you need. You're just kind of throwing money at the problem and hoping for the best. So this is where tax closure comes in, right? They're pitching themselves as a much faster and way more affordable alternative. And they keep talking about this AI-driven technology platform. Mm -hmm. But what does that even mean? Yeah, that's the big question. It sounds fancy, but is it just a bunch of marketing jargon? Well, what they're doing is pretty different from the traditional approach. They've essentially created a self-help model, but it's powered by technology. It's like they're walking you through the process of resolving your own tax debt step by step. Interesting. And supposedly their AI actually analyzes your specific financial situation, like all your income and expenses, and then it figures out the best negotiation strategies for you. So it's kind of like having a personalized tax expert, but without the, you know, the huge price tag. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's not just filling out online forms or something. There's real strategy involved. Oh, absolutely. One of the things they do is they walk you through this IRS form, the 433A. Right, 433A. Have I ever seen that one? I can't say that I have. It's basically this big detailed picture of your finances, and it's what the IRS uses to figure out what you can realistically afford to pay. Oh. So tax closure helps you fill it out accurately and, more importantly, strategically, because how you present your information on that form can make a big difference in your negotiations. I can see that. So you're not just, like, throwing numbers at the IRS. You're actually presenting your case in a way that, that helps you get the best outcome. Exactly. Okay, that's starting to make more sense. Mm -hmm. But they also mention ancillary professional services on their website. What does that actually involve? Right, right. So that's like an optional add-on if you need a little extra hand-holding. Basically, if you're not comfortable actually talking to the IRS yourself, they have a team of former IRS tax collectors. Okay. And these guys can handle all the communication for you, like all the calls and the faxes and stuff. So they know all the ins and outs of the system. Oh, yeah. They've been on the other side of the table, so they know how the IRS thinks and what they're looking for. It's like having someone who really knows the game fighting in your corner. That's got to be reassuring for people, especially when they're already stressed out about Ooh, the whole yeah. situation. For sure. But what about the cost? We saw that some of those traditional services can charge like thousands and thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. They can be crazy expensive. But tax closures fees are actually a lot more manageable. Their business package is $2,250. And for individuals, it's only $1,000. That's, that's a huge difference. And you said earlier that a lot of these other companies, they don't even guarantee results right yeah, now. No, you could pay them $5,000 and still end up with nothing to show for it. So tax closure is actually guaranteeing results at a fraction of the cost. Yep, that's their big selling point. It sounds like they're really going after those 60 million Americans who are working independently, those 1099 folks. Definitely. A lot of those people just can't afford those super expensive services, so this is like a game changer for them. Makes sense. So how are they actually reaching those people? How's their marketing strategy working? Well, they've got this two-pronged approach. Yeah. On the one hand, they're doing a lot of targeted marketing, like 
online ads and stuff, trying to get people to come directly to their website. And they even offer a free trial so people can try it out before they can hit. Smart move. Yeah. And then on the other side, they're partnering up with companies that employ a lot of 1099 workers. Like, think of Uber and Lyft or DoorDash, companies right. like that. Right, right. And they're offering a coupon program so those companies can give their workers a discount on tax closure services. It's a pretty clever way to reach their target audience. Yeah. It's like meeting people where they are. Exactly. So, to sum it all up, they're using technology and human expertise you know, those former IRS agents, to make tax resolution actually accessible and affordable for everyone, but especially those folks who really need it the most. That's the idea, yeah. It's a pretty compelling pitch, but the big question is, can they really pull it off? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? I mean, can they actually revolutionize this whole system? The IRS isn't exactly known for embracing change. You know? No, they're not. It's definitely no. going to be an uphill battle for tax closure. Yeah, and it's not just about the technology, right? There's the whole human element, too, like yeah. getting people to actually trust this new approach. Oh, totally. That's okay. a big hurdle. So it'll be interesting to see how all of this plays out. If they can actually change the way we think about tax resolution, it's something we'll definitely be keeping an eye on. Absolutely. It'll be fascinating to see how it all unfolds. And for our listener who's, you know, out there in the gig economy juggling all those 1099s, maybe this is something worth checking out a potential solution to that uh, that looming tax problem. Definitely worth exploring. All right. Well, that's our deep dive on tax closure for today. We'll be back soon with another deep dive into a topic that you care about. See you next time. Bye for now.